The psychological warfare. And I guess the box of money. I didn't want to finish you off too early. I didn't want to finish you off. <laughs> Look at you. Bring it like, like a hog, man. Like a hog. Like a hog running away from the axe. Turn the fans off. I know where you're going. Uh -huh. I got it, Tim. I get it. Okay. Get the tired, Tim. <laughs> the coach is tired. That's right. We saw it. Two weeks before the no, fight. That's right, yeah. Two weeks before the fight. Coach he, can't even he keep, can't up, keep up. My Come mom on, always coach. told me, if you miss Pete, folks, you don't have no good luck. <laughs> All right, Tim. All right, we need for boxing social man. We need to give the overall assessment of how Juan Diaz did today. Juan looking real good. He uh on his jab, his basic the fundamentals, and shifting his weight on his shots, and uh he's boxing more. Mm -hmm. What can I say? When I got him, he was Reynolds wrap. Now he's platinum. All right. Well, uh, let me ask you now. With the first couple rounds of sparring, uh, it seems to he was kind of slow trying to get himself together. By the third, fourth round, he is picking it up. Is he known for being a slow starter? Does it take him a while to pick up? Or? No, that, 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 that's all together wrong because he has a reputation for being baby bull. Right. They rang the bell, walk out and jump right on him. Get it over it right now. You see, they have cost him so much in the, in the past. Right. So we like the Jeffs. Once again, we're moving on up. Got you. I'm going to make him world champion. But we got to do things different. Okay. It's okay. a new doctor in the house, okay. fresh medicine. Gotcha. Genuine, basics, and fundamentals. Right, right. So he's, he's uh, being uh, immune and re reinvigorated with the basics and fundamentals. Right. Realize he can do things that he hasn't been doing. Realize he can do more than what he's been doing. Right. And uh, with the jab, the straight right hand, right. the left hook and the check hook, the shots to the body, Yeah. shifting his weight. Right. Bending his knees and not being reluctant to stand straight up in the air. Right. So, you know, God give it to me, I give it to him. Right. Now, Tim, we noticed during the sparring sessions, you were telling him, keep that jab up. You know, fire. Fire like a pistol jab. And when you told him to do it, he's got a dynamite jab. Is that something you're trying to get him to work more, is that jab? Well, you know, that's the way I used to fight. Uh -huh. And that's the way I was trained and groomed and bred. Right. The left jab, the first, Larry Holmes is trying to, Richard Giagetti told me that, the left jab is the first, foremost, and basic and fundamental punch in boxing. But when the left jab is perfected, it can become a weapon. Right. You know, and back when I was fighting, I broke noses, cut people up, blocked their eyes with a jab. With a jab. So that's the same medicine that my trainer gave me. That's the same medicine I give my fighters. Uh, a good left jab, that's what turns the judges on, makes the cameras click, what the crowd scream, and the jab sits with the right hand and the left hook. Right. So how, how would you rate his performance today? Would A you, plus. A plus. A plus. A plus. All right. And we're two weeks away. So would you say he's at about 90, 95 percent? How far I, away? I would say he's, he's right between 98 and 100. 90 and 100. 98. 98 and 100. Yeah. Okay. We okay. just got it. We got to keep him in tune because see what's going on when a fighter has been to the top and he's on he's he's on his way back to the top. Trainers make a, a big difference. Right. So what what's going on now? A fighter is not supposed to look the same. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to look better, right? Because it's not the big, it's not the big thing that has to be changed. It's the little bitty things that need to be changed to make a big difference in his fight game, in his quest for another world championship. Okay, okay. And what can we expect to see? April thirteenth and two more weeks. What can we expect to see, Tim? Uh, I don't, I don't want to toot my horn, and I don't want to put no pressure on the champ or put no pressure on the camp. But what I do know is we're gonna win. We're gonna win the fight. Where we go two, three, four, six, eight, ten rounds, whatever, and it's gonna be a spectacular Oscar winning performance. All right, well, I'll tell you what, let's get you a couple of predictions on a couple other fights. Tonight, the Brandon Rios Alvarado 2 rematch, how do you see that fight playing out? When it comes to the boxing, the basics and fundamentals and good boxing, I got my roll with uh, Mike Alvarado. Okay. And he's a real good friend of mine, too. Okay. Uh, I've been around him, we used to ride together, he trained down here, da da da. Oh, okay. But when it comes to the ring savvy and the killer instinct, I'm going to roll with Rio. Okay. So it, it, that, this fight here, if Rio's get careless, he's going to get knocked out because he, 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 he's headstrong on what he did in the past. Right. But if Mike Alvarado can stick to the basics and fundamentals, keep his hands up, he'll be successful. He'll be a new world champion tonight. He'll probably cut Rio's up, bust him up, beat him up, and then stop him. 
Right, in the last fight, it seemed like he was smashing him. But in the long run, I don't know if it's conditioning that he wore out or what. What do you think happened in the last fight? Well, you know, like Mama used to always say, it's always, you think you're bad, there's always somebody out there a little bit more better. <laughs> and, and what's going on is uh, they both punches. Uh -huh. They both soul brothers from the West Coast. They yeah. can they can crack a little bit. They can punch. Yeah. And uh, it, it all went down with who was quick on the draw. Right. So Mike Alvarado, no, I can't go out here and not fight this man because he hit like a truck. So I got to be smart and, and box him and sneak that stuff in. The right. same way I've been working with Juan. Right. Know when to box and know when to fight. Right, right. We heard you say that a lot during the sparring session. All right, you know, the week after Juan Diaz's fight, we got the Trout versus Canelo. How do you see that fight playing out? Uh, I think Trout's going to do a good job of boxing, but uh, I can't I can't really determine the winner because anybody can win. That's why they got a thing called upsets yeah. because the person you thought was going to lose, he wound up, you know, with the gold. Did you expect Trout to beat uh, Miguel Cotto? I figured he could if he, if he, if he stuck with his game, basics and fundamentals. That same way that he beat Cotto, if he used the same technique, could he beat Canelo? I'm pretty sure he can if he have it in his heart. But he got to stick to it because Canelo going to put more pressure on him. And between Canelo and Cotto, it's like night and day. Because Cotto has been in a lot of wars. He's seen his success, but he paid so much. Right. And Canelo's young, strong, and fresh. Right. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be nuclear. Right, and also coming up uh, in April, we also got uh, Nonito Donaire versus uh, Rigando. Okay. How do you see that fight playing out? Now, I used to train Rigando, and Rigando's a good friend of mine. And Rigando is a gutsy Cuban who can crack. He, he's, he's phenomenal. He's like a cat. You reach for him, he ain't there. But he hits you ten times, he gone. And Donito Donaire is a technician, the way he knocked out Jorge yeah. he, he saw that He saw him drop the right hand, and he went outside with the left hook, and it was all over. That was so beautiful. Right. So, uh, I like... I like uh, Ring it up. Okay. Because I don't know the nerd. Right. You know, so we never even took a drink together. I don't All know right. the man. <laughs> All right, there you go. Thanks for your time, Tim. All right, thank you.